So I got a question from Jet on how I do the outline around me for my audio. It moves whenever I talk. It's based on the, the audio coming from my microphone here. And the answer is it's actually a lot simpler than you might think, but it requires a couple of plugins. Uh, we'll have a link to those down below, but they are the Move plugin by Exceldro and the Stroke filter from uh, Finite Singularity. They're both available on the OBS forums, easy to download, easy to install. So what you need to do, start with your camera. Also, you're gonna need either a green screen or an NVIDIA card. So I've got my camera here, filters, chroma key. All right, so if I take that off, yeah, I've got the green screen. However, if you don't have that and you have an NVIDIA card, you can use NVIDIA background removal. That works pretty well. Use whichever setting works for you but I'm going to stick with my chroma key. So what you need to do, once you have that, is create another scene. We're going to call it stroke. And we're going to add in a source, the stroke source. In that source, we get to choose what we want to use as our source for a stroke. Now we're going to use the camera because we want the outline to go around us. You can uh, either have inner or outer and fill zero offset. Turn that off and you get a nice stroke there. I'm going to make sure it's outer. You can change the size here, however you want it, and you can also change the offset. Now that's what we're going to be looking at. So once we have that, you can see, you know, looking around, just because of a little lighting thing back here, got some shadows, but no big deal there. Don't worry about that. So once we have that, we're going to add in scene as source, stroke, so question in chat right now is, can't you add a stroke source directly to the cam scene? Yes, you can. I just, I, the way I have everything organized is every, or my main OBS is everything has its own scene. And I use a lot of nested scenes for that. So what I would ordinarily do is have a third scene, which would be a composite scene, add in camera, Add in stroke. And then that way, if I make changes or if I reuse these scenes somewhere else, I just have one main scene that I have to go back to to make the edits to. So if I wanted to say crop out the, the parts that aren't looking the way that I want them to, we could do that. You know, if I don't want the the microphone showing up, crop it out. Once I crop it here, if I go to the composite scene, it's cropped out there as well. The next part of it is we want to add a filter on the stroke. So we go back to the stroke source, and then we go to our uh, audio input filters, and we're going to add audio move, which is part of the move filter, move transition. We're going to use the magnitude action setting and look for our source which is going to be the stroke source base value zero factor whatever so you can see right now it's setting the stroke size like this but we're going to use the offset and we're going to increase that by however much you want to 5000 and this is where you get to mess around with how much you like it so we get the stroke looking the way that we want it to you know, whether we want it really jumpy or if we want it nice and smooth, if we want it to go to the peak sample, if we want it to go to input peak true. However, it's up to you. Mess around with these numbers. It's cool. So we have that filter in. Go back to our composite scene, and there we are. We have our little audio move stroke. Now, additional things you can do, like I have a filter on mine using the um, blur plugin from uh, Finite Singularity. You can do that. Really simple to add on a uh, filter here. Filter. Uh, go into the, and you can just download this from Finite or from the OBS forums. Composite blur. Choose whatever you want. I like pixelate. Make it as big as you want. Make as many effects as you want. Hexagon looks pretty cool. You might want to shrink it down. Circles. Triangle. That's all really cool. And, uh, yeah, so 
hopefully that helps out. If you got any questions, feel free to ask them. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave comments in the comment section because I need attention.